What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the King's Mafia's channel. We're doing some Madden today, yo. They're coming out with the Super Bowl promo, so we're gonna be here. We're gonna sit down, we're gonna chat about it, we're gonna talk about it and see what's up. All right? Now, for those that haven't watched it on Twitch, Madden did come out live. They were, they were talking about the promo yesterday. They recapped on it today. And basically the promo is a three part program, right? It involves, obviously it gets upgraded every three days. They'll come out with new players. They'll come out with new, obviously with new content throughout the week until the Super Bowl, right? They came out with 395 overall players. As you guys are gonna see right now in the set, you go into the set master, you're gonna see them right here. It's gonna be basically, it's a 95 overall Adam Timmerman, 95 overall Sony Michelle from the Patriots running back, and 95 overall Clay Matthews right outside linebacker from, from the Packers. All right, so we're gonna go check these cards out. Let's gonna see if they're still in the auction house. We're gonna see what's up with it. And we're gonna see exactly if at all they make any contribution at all to our to our squad. Honestly, we probably most likely will not need Sony Michelle. We will not need Clay Matthews, but Adam Timmerman is, is another story. Right? But let's go check this man. Now obviously as a power up, going for about 2k. Not that much. Eight. Okay. 139 for a signature series. And here he is. It's the Sony Michelle. I wish the graphic would come out, but for some reason it's not. Probably have an update to do that. Right, so here we go. Sony Michelle coming in at a 91 speed, 511, 93 acceleration compared to Bo Jackson 94. Right? It doesn't matter. 96 speed, 91 speed. It doesn't matter. They're both gonna get caught from the back, right? 94 agility compared to 93. 96 carry to 194 because he really doesn't fumble. I haven't seen him fumble. 66 catching to a 65. He just has plus one on him. 92 elusiveness to an 89. 96 trucking to an 89. 94 break tackle to an 86. This is what I mean when I say that he it doesn't. Sony Michelle is not going to be on the pocket team because I obviously doesn't make any sense. So we're reviewing this promo today because we want to make sure that whatever player is out there that it's you know it's official it's officially able to complement our squad and not only my squad but your squads the ones that are that are watching this right so we're looking at it honestly the his stats don't jump out at me his stats don't jump out at me 78 jumping to a 92 for Phil Jackson right 89 trucking to a 96 like like I said I said this already what else 92 ball carry vision to 92 ball carry vision. So, all right, so they're stuck the same with that. 90 stiff arm to another 90 stiff arm, stuck at the same with that. 83 spin move to 90 spin move. All right, Bo Jackson. 95 juke to a 92 juke move. He, honestly, his juke move might be glitchy, but for a 95 overall card to only have 91 speed, means he's gonna be getting caught from the back by everybody. My grandmother can catch this guy from the back. Like, come on. All right. 94 stamina to a 90, but it doesn't matter because either way, Bo Jackson, he doesn't fumble as much as this year as he did last year, but he does fumble, he does get stripped on occasion. So, let's see what else. What else we got here? Break tackle, 94 to 86. That's not really working for us. Right? Break sack, obviously he's not a QB, so we didn't need to worry about that. So, this is Sony Michelle, you guys. So, you guys are obviously interested in him. You guys have a Patriots theme team. You guys just really want to kind of like a balanced overall back. Sony Michelle's your guy, right? Obviously, the mafia is not gonna go after him because there's no hit out hit, hits put on him, man. So <laughs> there's no reason to, right? The other one is Mr. Clay, long hair, precious hair, Matthews. Long hair, don't care, right? Matthews, did I spell that right? So good. Mr. Matthews, who is now in the Rams. Right? So let's see. Randy overall. His card is going for 270. Let's see. We're going to see what's up. Our right eye sound linebacker should be Lawrence Taylor. Obviously, nobody's going to start over Lawrence Taylor. 
his play rate could be up there a little bit more, but we don't know what's going on right now. So the only thing that he has on him is the play rec and the tackling, which is absurd because he was a way better tackler than, uh, than Clay Matthews, definitely. So let's see. The reason why he's not going to make the squad is because Telvin Smith is a coverage linebacker for me uh, on, on passing downs. That's why. So we're going to compare him up against Mr. LT over here. 90 to 86. 86 to 87, 84 speed to 189 speed, which means he, this man is flying down the edge. 90 acceleration to 92 acceleration. 96 awareness to 88. He's a little bit aware. He could actually, I think he can actually play middle linebacker for you as well. If he has secondary positions for the chem. 70 catching to a 56. Obviously, he's going to be catching better than, than LT. LT's used to putting his, his um, hand down in the dirt. I'm not sure if you if you guys ever watched K Matthews play back in his prime, the man was a goon. He was a goon, bro. You see that hair flying around? He was like a discount Troy Palomalo, you know? At li at linebacker. Like seriously. 92 tackle to a 91. Alright, he got that plus one on him. The jumping is basically the same. Impact block, 93 to 92. This is where this is where LT just out straight off finesse everybody. Power moves. 90 to 93. Finesse moves, 92 to a 74. Why would I want to switch LT over from him or even Telvin Smith over from him to K Matthews, who has a 74 and a 90 power move? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Block shutting is the same. Pursuit is 94 to a 94, which is the same. Play rec, all right, yeah, K Matthews has that on him. Man to, man to zone coverage. All right, granted. Clay Matthew has him with his own coverage, but again, Lawrence Taylor doesn't get used for those kind of situations. Even though Lawrence Taylor does come in clutch, Lawrence Taylor does make interceptions at times. It doesn't come in clutch. Even towards, even with Telvin Smith, 77 man coverage, 81, 81 zone. It doesn't make sense to have this man because it's just, he's basically a discount, not even Lawrence Taylor because Lawrence Taylor has a finesse move, but he's more of a discount like Bobby Bell. He's a better version of Bobby Bell at right outside linebacker. That's really it. And even then, Bobby Bell is faster than him if you, if you have to follow for our part. So Clay Matthews is a dub. Not getting used in the squad. Okay, I was about to say, I thought I bought him in the state. All right. We're going to go now to Mr. Adam Timmerman. Now, Adam Timmerman, I, for some reason, I could have swore he was a left guard. Oh, that was probably Bruce Matthews. That was a left guard. But they obviously, you know, gave him a power up. He has a uh, theme, theme diamond card, 89 overall. He, here he is, coming in at a 276. They're, so it looks like they're all coming in at 276 for that Steve Young card. If you guys want to get Steve Young, obviously, look, they're all going for 270s. So you guys can obviously go ahead and try to finesse this, try to snipe a card. You never know, you might get one for like 250. So now here is Mr. Adam Timmerman compared to Larry Allen. Larry Allen, 96 speed, I have brawl on him, so he goes up to a 97, 97 strength, sorry. The awareness, 94 awareness to 90. Pass blocking that is the same, so it doesn't really matter. You're getting the same card. It's just, one's a cowboy, one's a ram. That's pretty much it. Pass block power, 95 to 93. Obviously, Mr. Larry Adam was more of a running back, was more of a running line guard, left guard, right guard. Sorry, don't drink tequila, guys. This is what happens. Mr. Larry Allen is more of a right guard, rushing, right? So it's obvious that he's gonna have better run blocking and better run blocking power than Mr. Timmerman on the other side. He does get a little pushback on passing plays, but that's not the re that's not really the oldest for us. He, our oldest is more of a three step drop, four step drop, and let let the ball go. That's what we're doing. On um, five step drops, it's either intermediate or long range long range throws, and I'm rolling out either to my right or to my left. It depends on where, which way the play is going. So I don't stay in the pocket for that long, but when I do need to stay in the pocket, he does hold up, a, you know, a certain amount of time. So now. We're going to look at what's most important, which is basically our impact blocking and lead blocking, which is what you guys know that we use this for running. 
I'm gonna, I'm assuming that Larry Allen is gonna be better. Obviously, yep. 92 to 94 impact block. Allen is better. Now we're gonna be looking at lead block, which it should be coming up right now. 90 to 90, so they're tied. But obviously, Allen is the better player because he has better run blocking stats. Right? Now, Adam Timmerman, if he could switch over to left guard and take over for um, that left guard, Gene Upshaw, would be a blessing. But obviously, he's not going to do that. So, we need to basically be able to finesse it and see, let's see what we're trying to do here. Now, obviously, the Super Bowl promo, you know, with these cards, they're coming out really really soon i think the, the the super bowl is what two weeks from now next week so we really have to see like what's going on what's the most that we can do who did i purchase all right so the great iron club award super bowl pass walking back so this is they're obviously starting it now it's 11 it's 10 54 eastern eastern standard time so see the super bowl missions to learn more about the program this kind of to sell we don't want this and obviously they're gonna give you a Steve Young card without a picture. I don't know why. We obviously don't need him, but we're gonna hold on to him. You never know. There was a there was a promo that came out earlier in the year where you actually needed to use that card or that you needed that card for uh for certain things, right? Let's see. I want to check to see if, if Steve Young price went up for his legend card. Because we were looking at it before and it was it was coming in at um 111k. We'll try to see if we can make some coins off of that. You never know. So, here we go. Steve Young. And we're going to go to his full legend. It should be right here. It went down to 105. So, it might be a good card to grab in case if you do want the, the Steve Young card to be able to obviously finish up his power up. His power up is going for 500. I mean, it's nice power up. His Super Bowl pass card is going for basically 500k. Initially 500k. The reason why don't we need Steve, why we don't need Steve Young is because Patrick Mahomes is playing in the Super Bowl. And you already know that he's a 99 overall card in the game, so he they have to get him to a 99 overall in month in month. Because if they just leave him at a 95 overall, it makes no sense. Because you're basically denying him what four, five plus overall points. Like it doesn't make sense. We're gonna go ahead and compare him to Mr. Patrick Mahomes, right? Obviously, Steve Young is a more efficient quarterback. If you guys look at his stats, he, when he played, he was a really good quarterback, really accurate, really deadly on the run. And he was able to, you know, do what he had, you know, do what you gotta do. You feel me? He was able to scramble out of the pocket. If you see that run, I think it was a 40 yard run that he pulled off on the 49ers, breaking tackles and then chipping into the end zone. That's one of his most iconic runs, right? We're coming in at an 86 speed compared to Patrick Mahomes' 82, right? 93 power, 93 throw power compared to Mr. Patrick Mahomes, 95, which get canned up to a 96, 97 with go deep, right? 95 short accuracy. So compared to Patrick Mahomes, 92, 95 mid to 90, 92 deep accuracy to Mr. Mahomes, 91, 95 throw on the pet on the pressure to 93, right? The only issue here is that he 93 throw power where are we going with that you know it's decent you can if you have a 49ers theme team you can get him up to quite easily up to a 99 or more like a 98 with the 93 throw power with john madden and then with um obviously go deep you can get him up there right so it might it could benefit people but at the same time i'm not looking for the steve young because obviously i, I really don't need it but it would be nice to have it just for just to be able to set up for coins or for training points even right and yeah if, if you guys feel like steven could do, be an asset to your team you guys could obviously go ahead and get and grab him so obviously he's not going to be effective with my team he could be but the fact that he's a lefty it, it throws me off a little bit obviously i'm used to right handed quarterbacks patrick Mahomes, drew Brees, um cam newton like I'm used to those the right-handed quarterbacks. Lefties kind of throw me off a little bit because then you have to really like roll out more to your right than to your left. And Randy Moss is on my right side. I have my Harmon on my left. So I would have really have to be throwing from the pocket if, if I want to be able to throw back across my body. So yeah, 
So 95 to 93 throw the pressure. 87 set break sack to obviously the tight at that. So if you guys want to go ahead and grab that Steve Young, you guys obviously can. The Sony Michelle card coming in at a 95 overall, 91 speed, 94 agility, 96 carry. If you guys want that for your theme team, go ahead. We are hoping that they come out with obviously a left guard because we need to get rid of Gino Michelle. Because he's just, it's just trash. We're going to go ahead and take a, take a look at house rules now. To try to see because obviously you need the Super Bowl tickets. If you guys haven't noticed that, we're gonna go look at the sets. So we're right here. Super Bowl MVP. You need the Super Bowl tickets to be able to grab either one of those either, either one of those 95 overall cards. You need four of them to earn your choice of 95 overall Super Bowl past heroes. So Michelle, Timmerman, and Matthews, right? Obviously, they're going to be coming out with an additional Super Bowl hero coming soon. So it's probably the present. It's probably going to be like the Super Bowl hero present coming soon, probably tomorrow and the next day. Remember, it is a three part program. So it'll be most likely be played up to until the Super Bowl. Obviously, not, not going to be played until after the Super Bowl. It doesn't make sense to do that. So here's where you win the solo the solo, I mean, not the solo, the Super Bowl tickets. Excuse me. So they would be here. Here it is, two minute drill, down by two, offense is good. So we're gonna go ahead and try to do this and see what's up. We're gonna do, go ahead and do one. See if we can go ahead and, we actually know what, before we do one, let's take a look here. So it says 15 wins, you get a Super Bowl ticket. At 25 wins, you get 50 series tokens. 350 coins per game win, 100 per game loss. Remember, it is, th th this is daily milestones, all right? So we're gonna go ahead, actually back out of this real quick. And we are going to go into here, the Super Bowl, what is that, 54? 54, right? Yeah, all right, so Super Bowl challenges. So play Super Bowl challenges each release to earn Super Bowl tickets and Super Bowl predicted tokens that you can use in sets. Super Bowl heroes collect a Super Bowl ticket. So you could do this by playing the challenges or by doing the house rules. Either way, you're going to be getting them. And a two minute drill. So you're basically guaranteed a free 95 overall card, right? So 15 wins gets you a, this is, so this is earnable daily, but you have to do the two, the two minute drill. So you, if you win it 15 times to earn a Super Bowl ticket, this is earnable daily. So you, you have to win the 50 times. It's not that hard. It should be it's for going on for seven days you're in within two minutes so it shouldn't be that hard 25 wins you get 50 trophies so if you win 25 times you earn 50 trophies right there you go so we're going to go ahead and just try to get one in i don't know if we're playing against the computer or if we're playing up against somebody we most likely are playing up against somebody let's see how we're going to do this so we're down by two and yeah i think we're playing up against somebody so we're down by two and we need to basically win. Well, I think we're most likely playing against the computer. It's most likely, most likely going to be against the computer because if we're down by two, we just have to waste the clock, get close enough to field goal range. Obviously, Will Lutz, you guys already know, coming in at a 93 overall kick power, we have to get within, I'm pretty sure, the 40 yard line, which is within the 45 yard line to be able to get it. Well, actually, you know, 40 to 35. Yeah, 40 to 35 to be able to get it close up. So we're going to go ahead and see if we'd be able to obviously get one and let's see what we're, let's see what we're working on, right? So the Super Bowl promo, it seems like a legitimate promo, the three-part program. Three-part program, obviously, they, you know, we're gonna see how, how glitchy we can come out with it. So we are playing up against somebody. So we, I guess if we're playing, oh, he really has the power of it. Right. So this is a Patriots theme team. Obviously, you guys know that everybody who plays a theme team is obviously crazy or, you know, in just one way or another. So we're up by two. And basically, we have to stop them. They're on their 20-yard line. We have to stop them from doing what they want to do. So automatically out the gate, we're going to put in, in here. You know, and we're going to try to finesse this. Let's see what we can do with this. 
we are lagging a little bit. So we have to just make sure that we're on the right TV settings because we're not. This guy is really lagging. All right. So he's coming up on trips by Pat. I'll take that. Thank you very much. So now basically the game is won. He's probably going to quit the game because obviously he's not going to have enough time. There's no timeouts. So we're up by two. So now at this point, we just really have to like waste the clock. Two plays, call it done. Run a conservative. Try not to get stripped. Go down. Don't take any unnecessary hits. Just like that. No reason for it, for you to take any unnecessary hits. So obviously we're going to go into our coaching adjustments. I'm gonna run a conservative. Come out of eye form and H back lead dive. Straight up the middle. So let's go, let's take this. There we go. There's no need for us to be able to push this anymore. Again, we're up by two. We're not down by two, we're up by two, so we don't have to really do anything aggressive or out the, or out the ordinary, right? There we go, time's up. I mean, Otis is just basically, if you're on defense, try to try to cause a turnover and get the ball back. You're on offense, get down there and try to basically win the game. All right, get close enough to the point where you need, where, you, where you're able to get those three points. We won our first one. Let's see what we're going to get with this, all right? Let's see. I'm surprised he had, like, you know, Tom Brady on the pass, whatever. All right, let's get out of here. Yada, 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 yada. Patriots TB12. Maybe even like that. That's, that was probably Tom Brady. Who knows? Who knows? There we go. I think it's, been, it's most likely probably going to alternate between you being down and you being up. Obviously, the ones being down are probably going to be a little bit easier because you really just have to hold them. Um, unless you start playing, you know, the really the real bullies <laughs> that <laughs> like to move around and everything. So, let's get out of this. Let's see what we're going to get. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So, you guys, obviously, you know, just leave it down. So the promo, obviously, like I, I can't keep saying and re keep reiterating, it's a three-part promo. It's gonna be going on, obviously, until the Super Bowl. So try to get it out of the way. Do your solos. Try to get your Super Bowl tickets. It's a really good way to make some coins, also, obviously, on the side, and it's a really good, good way to get ready for you know, obviously, the Easter promo. It's a, it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be a good way. So we won one game, ultimate team reward. So it looks like you just really need to like get it done. That's really it. All right. If you guys feel like you want any of these players, obviously just try to get it done. All right. I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for coming through, watching the video. If you have any comments, leave them down in the section below. Try to get it done. I'm going I'm to start grinding right now. Alright. Like always, like the video, follow, subscribe, any comments, leave them down in the section below. You guys want to see a certain player on the 